smoked chuck roast, Texas style. And that means kosher salt, freshly cracked black pepper, cayenne, and maybe some coffee. That's right, this recipe will include ingredients that you're gonna find out there on the cowboy trail. Now, chuck roast comes from the shoulder of the cow. It comes from a working muscle, so it has very little intermuscular fat. And that means to cook this chuck roast properly, we gotta go low and slow, and of course, add some smoke. Got a 2.6 pound chuck roast. For a binder, just a little mustard. Get up both sides here. Mustard works pretty good, in my opinion, as a binder. Now let's talk about how we're going to season it. I've got an eighth cup each of black pepper and kosher salt. And we got a teaspoon and a half each of garlic and onion powder. I got a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon cayenne pepper. Just going to get the lid on this, give it a good shake so it gets mixed in real well. Now let's get the chuck roast back over here. And let's season this guy up. Both sides, the ends, I'm going to use all of this seasoning. It's a thick cut of beef, so it'll take a little extra seasoning. And I like to use freshly ground, coarse black pepper for this. Got one of those little coffee grinder things I use. Here you can see that pepper. Even some of those peppercorns didn't get ground up. No issue. While this chuck roast sits here and soaks up these flavors, Let's get over and get our grill going. I'm going to be using this Kamado today because it holds the temp constant for long cook times. You can see we've got her dialed in right around 250, 255. This Gourmet Guru grill is ready to go. I'm going to get our chuck roast on, close the lid. Here I've got mushrooms out of one of those 8 ounce containers. I used about half. We're not going to need a full 8 ounces of mushrooms. I like to leave these in bigger chunks for this recipe. So you can see I'm essentially just cutting the big pieces in half. I don't want these chopped up into small pieces. And you'll see here why in a bit. Now, let's get these mushrooms out of the way. Here I've got some yellow tomatoes. Uh, yellow tomatoes. Some yellow onions. And you can see, I'm just trying to slice them very thin. I'm going to do this to two of them. And then I just want to cut them down the middle. We want slices for this recipe. And the final thing we've got is a red pepper. Just want to slice this in thin slices. This is a red bell pepper. There's no heat to this pepper. This will give us a little crunch. It's been about two hours and 15 minutes. Let's check on this chuck roast. Look at the beautiful color on that roast. You can see it's got some juice up there on the top. Our temp here, you can see we're at 159. There we go, I had it sticking out the other side. 168. We're going to get it off here and wrap it. Now I said cowboy style, and what's the first thing a cowboy wants in the morning? He wants some coffee. So I've got one cup of coffee. That's right, cowboy chuck roast. Here I'm going to add in one cup of bourbon because I think cowboys drink bourbon. And then finally, this looks like it's about a half a stick of butter that we'll put in. Now we're coming in 
with those onions. Well, I can tell you, I can smell the coffee and the bourbon. It's already smelling good. Just sprinkle these onions around, and if you've never had whiskey onions before, you're in for a treat. Now I've got those mushrooms that we kind of just chopped large. We're gonna spread those around. We're going to take a piece of foil, wrap this up kind of tightly. Tight, tightly, I don't know the word. Let's get back over to the grill. Just get this lid back open, get our chuck roast on here and let it keep cooking. And while that chuck roast is finishing up, let's make a Worcestershire mayo. I've got one cup of mayonnaise here. Mayonnaise is like religion and politics, right? Everybody's got a strong opinion. This is Duke's. Tell me what you like in the comments down below. Two teaspoons of what's this here sauce. And we want about one tablespoon and a half of yellow mustard. How about one tablespoon of ketchup? How about one half a cup, a half a cup, half a tablespoon of sriracha? Let's put a little garlic. That's about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. Now some prepared horseradish. That's about a teaspoon and a half. Let's give it a mix. And I'm going to add one more teaspoon of Worcestershire. What's this here? However you say it. And now we're going to get this off in the fridge. Now you have to make a decision when you're cooking chuck roast. If you want slices, then you want to pull it off around 200, 202 degrees. If you want it shredded or to pull it, then you want to cook it on up could be 208, could be 210. You can take a fork or a temp probe and you'll know when it's ready. It's been another hour and 15 minutes. You can see we're at 205 degrees. I think I'm going to pull it. I'll take this foil off so we can get a closer look at it. Oh, those onions. Look, look, look at that. Soft. Those mushrooms are ready. Now, it is not like shred, and I don't want that today. I'm going to slice it a little bit. Our roast has been resting here about 30 minutes. Now, we're going to slice off a few pieces. You see how it's like butter. I didn't want to cook it on up to 210 because I don't want this shredded today. You want to see what it looks like? Look at that. Look at the juice in that. I hope you can see it. It is so juicy. I'm going to cut off a few more pieces. You got to stay with me in this video and see how I'm going to serve it up. Now I've got the bottom of the chia, chia, chia butter. Is that how you say it? Here I got about two table, two two tablespoons of butter melted, with about an eight of a teaspoon of dried garlic. Just going to brush a little bit of that on there. Now let's talk about how we're gonna make this sandwich. We're gonna grab, oh, it's so juicy. And we don't wanna be shy here. I wanna make sure we have plenty, plenty, plenty. Here we go. Do you think that's enough for a sandwich? Now I've got this, how do you say it? Gear? Gear? Guri? Gear? Cheese? I, I don't know how to say it. I'm going to come in here with one, two pieces of that. And then I want to lay one, two, three more pieces of that chuck roast. And then we've got those whiskey, Kentucky bourbon, Onion, don't forget, there was some mushrooms in there also. Just like so. Then to finish this off, just a little bit of that red pepper. That's for crunch. The final thing I've got here, hatch green chilies. You just can't go wrong 
with Hatch green chilies. We're going to get that chia butter roll. Don't worry, we'll come back to that Worcestershire mayo. I'm going to put a little bit of that butter on the top. Then I'm coming in with just a few of these everything bagel, right? You've probably seen them. Sesame seeds. A little decoration here. There we go. Let's be very careful. Get this back over to our grill. Going to let it sit on here for about five, six minutes so that cheese melts. Now we're going to just tilt that bun up. You know it, you know it, right? Whiskey, Worcestershire mayo. Look at that goodness. All right, let's cut this bad boy in half. It's a big sandwich. That chuck roast is cooked to perfection. That mayo and cheese just give us so much moisture. That's right, I said moisture. Those bourbon onions are incredible and just a very mild heat at the end. And if you like this recipe, check out my chuck roast pellet grill recipe down below.